Hey everybody, it is Kellen Nitro for Nitro Maniac TV's Wrestling Unlimited coming at you with a quick little uh, vlog of some current news that's been happening over the past weekend. Of course, the G1 Climax Tournament for New Japan Pro Wrestling wrapped up uh, on, well, early Sunday morning, you know, overnight Saturday to Sunday over here this past weekend or so. And other than Kota Ibushi getting the, uh, I guess, the express ticket to the main event, of Wrestle Kingdom 15, uh, it was announced that there will be a Wrestle Kingdom 15 this year in the midst of everything, and it's going to happen at the Tokyo Dome. Yeah, uh, they're going to go for two nights on January 4th and 5th, 2021. Uh, this news kind of came off as a shock to a lot of people, and uh, a, a huge surprise, at least it did for me, uh, just because of the current global situation right now with the coronavirus and COVID-19, and just the fact that a lot of mass gatherings are not going on right now and here is new japan looking at just shortly down the road uh january 2021 is coming up in about uh, two and a half months time it's crazy to think that but uh 2021 is just around the corner and uh the thought pattern is is that there's going to be a crowd of some size heading to an enclosed domed event uh, for, you know, the first real big wrestling supercard of 2021. Um, am I excited that it's happening? Yes. Uh, am I wary about uh, it potentially being, I guess, kind of detrimental or so? Well, kind of, sort of, but the thing is, is that Japan is not say the United States right now and Japan is not uh, you know England or anywhere else with this coronavirus thing it's kind of run amok over the year 2020 uh, Japan has really had a good handle on uh, coronavirus and the social distancing and everything that you need to do to control this thing uh, since uh, I want to say maybe the this, this summer or so uh, it definitely wasn't enough for them to get the Olympics off the ground uh, that got pushed back to 2021. Now there's even a question mark whether those will even take place in 2021 or not. But that's still too early to call. It's the Summer Olympics uh, that got pushed from 20 to 2021 in Tokyo. Anyway, um, it'll end up... They'll probably make a call on that, I would think, during the first quarter of next year, whether that's going to be a goal or what. Uh, it definitely helps with them building the infrastructure, so on and so forth. But that's a sports thing. Um, it's This is going to prove to be the ultimate gamble. Now, if they put together an awesome card, and uh, like this year's um, Barreso Kingdom was a great card over two nights. Uh, the issue was at times that it was over two nights. <laughs> it uh, it it did have the inter it did have an interesting tie-in with it being Liger's final uh, two nights of wrestling in his career. So. So it did have that kind of vibe to it. Maybe that's the problem with 2020 is because Liger retired. Now the whole world's gone to shit. But anyways, uh, it, uh, um, it, it, it had that common thread. And it also had, you know, the whole thing where on night two, the championship would be decided. The big IWGP title match. And then on night one, you had all these great kind of lead-up matches and that stuff like who can forget the first meeting between mox and lance archer even prior to this past week on aew dynamite that was where the first time they met was for the iwgp us title in that texas death in that texas death match so uh man that was just an incredible deal but uh, i guess my question to you guys is i mean would you go to something like this this early on after even if you know, the host country that's hosting it is giving the green light for en masse gatherings. So don't forget, uh, New Japan managed to draw over 70,000 fans into the Tokyo Dome for Wrestle Kingdom 14 back in January earlier this year in 2020. Um, and even you look at events of a similar scale that were right after that, the Royal Rumble that happened, it's WWE, but the Royal Rumble took place at Minute Maid Park in Houston. And I think the announced attendance there was, what, about 56 foul or something like that? Um, stadium supercards, is that something that you now, this soon, or not this soon, but, you know, even with this thing ongoing, uh, would be something that would tempt you to attend live? Or are you just content at sitting at home and, and, and checking it out? 
We don't know what sort of precautions the Japanese government or New Japan will have for any of the wrestlers or whatever. But apparently it's good enough for them to run their Super Show because they're going to put on a Super Show. They're going to put on Wrestle Kingdom in 2021. So, but yeah, what's your thoughts? Post them below. And uh, thanks for tuning in on Nitromaniac TV's Wrestling Unlimited. I'm Kellen Nitro, later days. And yeah, this is something that we're going to follow fairly closely in the months and weeks to come here. Is uh, not just a card for Wrestle Kingdom 15. Or um, is this thing actually going to get off the ground? Is this thing going to run? Uh, man, <laughs> so many questions here. So we'll see what happens. All right, folks, later days. Happy wrestling watching.